Things feeling. Now you can feel more ready to sell than sell. Sell, sell. Okay. Give heart. Where am I? What was I doing? Oh, this is... Oh, this it. But we need to make enough money to open our dream shop. Let's go to work. Darling, you're back to your old self. Thank goodness. So am I, darling. Did I worry you? I'm so sorry. Better now. Let's get to work, shall we? Neither. We, we, we killed him. Thank you so much for helping out. You deserve an extra special free gift. Thank you. Oh, this is a tragic. How would my poor darling dear ever spy? Something the matter? My soul, my one, my only de uh, dearest husband has traveled to the Golden Grove in search of a delicious mushroom, but he has forgotten to take his lunch. Uh, delicious? Yeah, I guess it's kind of bad, huh? He must be really hungry by now. Oh, he must. Um, oh, he must. And the wild beast out of the forest prevents me from delivering him it to him myself. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh okay, god, that's uh, the forest we came through. The one with all those giant mushrooms. That is olive oil. The wind falls of the cave. And it's probably a good place to get in search for a bit of grub. So you are familiar with it. Yeah, I must it's urgent request of you to get is uh, okay, I'm not sure, but in this please make it delivery, okay, deliver the food. Uh let's have sex to the golden go. You will aid me in my hour of need, my little hero. Here's the lunch. I bet my best okay with all the you you must not temper and try and try it. No matter how delicious it may smell, it's a meal for lovers only. Okay. Oh, this will never do. It's bad for business, very bad. What is the matter, man? This desert is filled with boneheads. The traveling merchants who brought us fresh goods are being attacked. I fear that soon our lives of swine will be severed entirely. If there only was someone who could get rid of these skeletons. Okay, it seems like in a uh, bit of pickle, Olly boy, shall we offer the help? Yeah. Oh, I'll help you, ma'am. I'll beat these boneheads for you. Come now, child. We're not in in so much trouble that we need to send the likes of you to your doom. No, ma'am, you don't understand. He got me, Lord of Ho Lord of Fairies, the Lord High Fair, Lord of Fairies. See, that just sounds wrong. Hi, Lord of Fairies. I'm just gonna say hi, Lord of Fairies. Looking after him. He'd be a Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, you know, what exactly do you do, little man? Go up there and scale bones until the hop away. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, the flipping check it off it. Okay, indeed. Oh boy. A pie is on the line here. We need a. We need to, to better these bone. Okay, let's sure. Very well, defeat the ten bone heads and that will be enough to allow the spies to reach us. Okay. Bananas. Who, um, hoot there, hello, how can I help you today? We have a hoot range of goods and offer. Bananas to items, exactly okay. Sleepy gone, this alarm clock will uh, cause one to wake up from a deep slumber. 
Let me flash a lot, go sleepiness. Thank you, fine. Okay. There's no save point here. Go some coffee. Where's the save point? There's no save point here. Well, that's just weird. I thought I just talked to him. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Cheevers. The poor thing's broken-hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir. You're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to. Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor Dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight, too, to keep the rest safe, like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by her. So, we head over your way and find her soulmate. All right, let's do it. 
Right though, back to you a world it is. Okay. So where do we do? So where to start the search? Hey, you remember how that works, isn't it, Ollie boy? It's all about spotting the cemetery. Okay, cemetery. Cemetery. I know that word, but never mind. The same things somewhere around by here. Somewhere who similar to yes, yeah, similar to young. Else in some way. Now let's get. What girls do you know? Girls. Uh, I don't really talk to girls. I mean, talk to... Crikey's well, that's no good, is it? Cricket, though, well, that's no good. Is it? How are we going to do this, then? I'm not sure. There's some she reminds me of. Can't quite put my finger on it. it on it. Isn't it? N never mind. If a thing works, won't work. Like work will. Let's go for a stroll and round the town and see if we can spot soulmate. Shall we? Okay. I just thought, what's up, man? You have a nice time thinking about girls, isn't it? Uh, no, I just... When I used to come here to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from her window. From her window, it sounds like a proper stalker. Right? I guess so, that's the window up there. Oh, that's her. Flipping heck, holy boy. Why didn't you think of her s straight away? She's a spim uh, spitting image of her, man. Uh, of who? Who you flipping think? You blockhead? The great sage daughter, isn't it? The one who's obvious f a flipping soulmate. Is that obvious? I never noticed. You sure have good eyes. She was uh, only in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor sharp eyes of a fairy. My boy. Spot a spark of dust on the head of a pin, I could. Anyway, it's her. No mistake. Let's go and barge over way into her bedroom. Okay. That seems normal. Let's try the front door. Hmm? There's no good, no answer. It's only the matter, dear. There's nobody home, you know. Uh, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. Your friend, oh, oh your poor dear, you must be awfully worried about her. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going s so well for uh, her family late. How come? Her father works every hour, of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. Never at home anymore. It's just a shame. Was always such a devoted father. But something happened to him. He changed. I heard him shouting at them through the walls. I know how Paul... A couple alone, young. It's just a shame. But he, that's my idea. She's a uh, man's wife. She's a really bit as devoted to him as always. It was only this morning I heard her promise to pay his uh, promise to bring his lunch to him down in the garage. All the love she pours into those sandwiches isn't enough to bring back. 
your heart. Well, I'm welling up, just think about it. Just a kind soul, poor poor. I n have a half of my to sell the cat way just how lucky he is. Jeepers, just listen to the me gospel on and on. Do you know me, dear? I'm just a silly old woman. Tell you to for me, wouldn't you? Craig, it sounds like things are not too in the household, right? Can't well, right. We can't leave uh, her like that. We have to help her. We have to help. Yep. That's easy said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming for our chat. We're not going in unless we're going to go magic open the door. You're right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can get in there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this, man? When my mom died, I, if I haven't taken my over to your world, but I thought I was all alone. If I hadn't helped me, I'd still be right. I'd be alone right now. That's why we have to help. If we don't, she'll be left staring out of a window forever alone. That's justified enough for a bit of faking entering in my books. Let's go, yep. Huh, that's a pop of one. A rubbish lock like that should pop undone easy. Hmm, what's wrong? This door, man, there's an evil presence be protecting it. Your spell doesn't, it still didn't fail. It was repelled by a manifestous force. Repelled? Jeepers. Must be that girl. She's so mate of, after all. You think she, what should we do? i tell you what we do, we don't do. Carry on trying to get in the by the front door. Not exactly polite, just barging into somebody's house. You know, I guess we have to find some another way. Was it again? Oh, I'm sure we heard something to tell you. What the thing was? Guess we go down the garage. That was... Hey, maybe... What's going on, Oli boy? Maybe... She knows something. What the flippy heck are you on it? Oh yeah, to go in there. It's open. How the flip... Did you do another spell on it or something? No, it wasn't me, it was uh... Where's she? Never mind all that, let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in stress up there, man. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes, that's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already. Huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dad. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, 
Nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... Just like you said, it's almost like Myrtle and are the same person. Even though, even thought they could be twins. Hmm. I know they were soulmates, but the moment I laid eyes on her, but she hasn't broken hearted. There's, there's something else stopping her from getting better. There must be her parents, her family is. If the old ghost has been believed, yeah. It sounds like her folks are getting on, oh, ain't going on too well. But our family scrolls are really that kind of thing we won't get into getting mixed up in, old boy. But not, but we have to help Myrtle. Family is important, it's everything. Well, since you put in that, like that, go on then, let's help the poor down out. Next stop, okay, let's go. I think somebody's over the hole. There's, yeah, there's must be. Well, okay, if I got a bad feeling in my lens about this. You best make sure you get ready before you go in. Okay. Come to wait. A sandwich to fill with juice. Because bonus with saws. Save it there. It must be Ross, his garage. Oh, the boy, is that must be him over there. Guess so, huh? Excuse me, sir. Are you Myrtle's father? I come to ask about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Be the kid. Hey, what's the swing around him? It can't be. I think I bought you some lunch. Not this again. I'm not hungry. But honey, if you don't eat, you get sick. I said I'm not hungry. Okay, honey. Just take. Just looking after yourself, please. So that was, well, it was mum, huh? You got it too. Get out of here before I throw you out. But sir, dude, he's got possessed. Crack, he's, uh, cricket, look at these eyes. Broken as heck. That his heart is, his heart is broken, but we're not from your world. Let's see what about that later. But now we know what the problem is. We need to mend. Uh, was broken heart, isn't it? Yes, we do. Don't worry, sir. We're going to help you. Are you kidding me? A flipping nightmare now. We we for now, man. You look like a bad dream. No, uh, now, man. Much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that lynches onto a broken heart. See that broken uh, black mist stuff? That's how you know. Nick, is the mess is going darker. That can be mean only one thing. It isn't good news.
Nightmare. Oh! <laughs> 